I spent um, quite a while initially um, photographing a single beach um, in Pembrokeshire called Poppet Sands. That was approximately eight years I spent recording that. Um, and it gave me an awful lot. Um, I found that it allowed me, because I went to the same place over and over again, um, and the beach by its very nature offers you infinite possibilities, I found that I could um, slowly discover things about how I reacted to what I was seeing in front of me. Um, my personal response to what was going on and bringing my own personal likes and dislikes um, into the equation and, and over eight years um, working and searching for the shapes and tones and structures um, at my feet on the beach I eventually came to a point where I realized that I wasn't actually recording uh, the beach itself or the fact that it was a beach wasn't really an issue for me anymore uh, what I was more interested in is the abstract lines and the shapes and the curves and how they all uh, fitted together so I kind of had an idea that you know maybe um, I didn't necessarily need nature anymore to give me what I needed um, and I could always use it as um, uh, my experience as a reference to uh, uh, any other work that I was doing and I was in the darkroom I was working on a big show um, and doing lots of darkroom printing and I had an awful lot of uh, leftover bits of um, photo paper hanging around the place and I was lucky to be given a large stack of um, expired photo paper so I, I could play with that as well um, and I worked and worked with this paper in a sense of creative play um, and I discovered that I could bend it and I could play with it and shine light on it and I r began to realize that it was it was quite possible under certain circumstances to be able to treat this photographic paper almost like a, um, a canvas and you could in a, in a certain way control the light that you were directing onto it you could use um, gestures and uh, other ways to give these marks on the paper um, a solidity that I hadn't seen before. Uh, so I began to experiment and build up a number of steps for a process. I, through trial and error I would work on something and uh, see if it gave me a result that I liked and it, it was a very much a long period of like about a year of step by step by step figuring things out if I didn't like it then it would get uh, discarded and I'd keep things that I did like and eventually I began to be able to create um, pieces on the paper that that uh, seemed to have the solid balance and the uh, uh, images that seemed to work um, correctly in, and I would get the same kind of sensation from those images as I would going to the beach and recording directly from nature. So that, that excited me a lot. It meant that I had um, an ability to be able to create um, a, a, a some kind of a structured, balanced form on this paper that worked for me as well as um, what was na what nature was offering. Um, and I found that very exciting. It was my own personal projection onto this paper. Um, and it was a sense, an amazing sense of freedom that I could um, work with this. And I was, I was, it was limitless, really, what, what you can do. You're just taking the, the light that is there and you're, you're molding it in a similar way that, as you would mold a sculpture and directing it so that it reacts on the flat surface of the paper. And leaves a particular type of mark um, and I found that um, very uh, exciting and I found the images to be um, quite inspiring for me to move on and to keep on trying new things and adding little bits and pieces as, as I went and and it's a, it's a very um, growing process you you're, you can grow because it is so simple because it's just light and paper 
it allows you to shine through it allows your ideas to be very very obvious on the paper um, and I've also started to incorporate guidelines onto the in, into the compositions I found that they added a, a great weight to the images I, I think they helped take away any sentimentality which I, I don't particularly like in my work um, and they help direct the eye um, and they certainly help to balance um, a sharpness against a smoothness um, something with tonality against something with no tonality um, they can they, they kind of seem like a kind of a bones to the whole thing and everything else can can sort of hang on those um, and they're now I find that I very rarely create a lumogram without building up an idea of uh, some guidelines on the paper um, so it gives me a, a, um, like a, a bit of a head start um, but with with the luminogram process you never know really how the process is going to end because as you start marking the paper you have to take that into consideration with the next mark that you make and you build it up uh, very much like an abstract painting it um, your each mark you make has to balance and work with everything else that's on the paper and then furthermore the next mark that you make has to work with everything else and you build it up and build it up and hopefully at the end it, all the pieces kind of marry together and it sits as a solid thing um, that sometimes I, 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 it looks like a photograph of a sculpture or an object that has could almost be real you can see senses of reality there um, but also the rest is so fantastical that it, it could never be so it isn't almost like a, I'd love the idea of it being a photograph of an impossible sculpture um, and just sitting there on a flat surface it's almost to me sometimes it feels like you can reach in and hold it um, and that's the that's the magic for me of the way that light works with this paper at this chemical level without any uh, camera or film or computer anything getting in the way it is just me working on the light and 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 directing it and pushing it onto the paper to give these lifted um, solid uh, at quite simple I suppose you could call them but they 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 seem to me the process seems to be able to allow you to balance things and that is, is so important to, to make it a balanced composition a little it's like a, a journey of, of discovery each one because you're making marks here and then you have to make marks there and then you balance it off with a curve there and then you think to yourself right you've got to balance that off and yes to make that push that way and push this way and pull it forward and push it back it works in these three dimensions it works on the up the up down the left and right but it also pushes backwards and forwards it doesn't seem to be flat in any way which i found a very exciting part of the whole process.